Hola chicos, hablamos hoy sobre gender. Gender es eh, una de esas cosas que tenemos en español y no tenemos en inglés. It's one of the things that we have in Spanish that we don't have in English. Um, for example, boy is masculine concept, girl is feminine concept, but we don't have a grammatical way to show this uh, in English. However, in Spanish, we do. So, for example, in Spanish, we say muchacho, and then we say muchacha, okay? Masculino, muchacha es femenina. Okay, um, y a veces ese es lógico, this is logical, so... Hijo, son, hija, daughter, sobrino, nephew, sobrina, you know, niece, ¿ok? Ese es lógico. But we also sometimes have a gender which is grammatical, not logical. Uh, so, for example, we have dinero, which means money, and is a masculine noun. And we have moneda, which is a feminine noun. Ah, trato otra vez. Moneda. Moneda is feminine. But... Moneda is no more feminine than dinero is. It is simply, in grammar, eh, feminine. It is grammatically feminine. También tenemos, por ejemplo, libro. ¿Y dónde está el libro? Está en la biblioteca. Eh, Tenemos, por ejemplo, uh, we also have things which, for example, may be feminine things. Like, for example, the word for dress, vestido, ves, vestido, is masculine, even though women usually wear vestidos, okay? And then we have something that men wear all the time, la camisa. Eh, which is a feminine noun. So there's not necessarily a relationship every time. Remember, eh, el muchacho, el hijo, el sobrino, el dinero, el libro, el vestido, y la muchacha, la hija, la sobrina, la moneda, la biblioteca, la camisa. Y, si es plural, las camisas y los vestidos. ¿Ok? Ahora, tenemos palabras que terminan en dad. Like evil. La Maldad. O happiness. La felicidad. ¿Ok? Esas palabras siempre son eh, femeninas. ¿Ok? Es porque son conceptos. These are, these are large concepts. And we also have some words which are a little bit tricky which are words that come from Greek origin. These uh, Greek origin words like el problema, uh, are masculine even though they end in A. Um, also, we have some words that you'll simply have to memorize. For example, la nariz. 
La nariz does not end in an A, but we know. For example, also, la mano. This one ends in O, but it is feminine. So be aware of that. Um,